trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Let me get that. Very well. I shall return. We managed to avoid the worst by some miracle. I am grateful for your aid. You must come visit us again, once she has recovered. Twas a near thing, but Miss Trisha is saved. Let us look in on her again in the coming days to see how she fares. Understood. I take it this place is to your liking. Naught like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure.
arisen. I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? Goodness. We're higher up than I'd thought. Take care not to fall. Careful now. Our party contains an abundance of sorcerers. We shall assail our foes with a plethora of magics. Understand Elvish, Master. I expect you'll find my talents useful should we encounter another speaker. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Here at the inn, we also offer ch I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you need something? Do come again. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough of that. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. my 
Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? Assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. ought to be in our favor. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Look there. I espy another statue. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. Should see my view to thank for saving me as well as Gran. Who could have suspected things would happen as they did? It was as though my very self was about to vanish. Gran said twas because the magic within me is many times greater than tis within other people. She's going to teach me how to control my magic so it won't happen again. I can hardly wait. Oh, that reminds me. Keep this a secret from Gran. But when my magic was all out of control, I learned a sort of technique. I'll need to study hard if I'm to try it without exploding again. Learning to shackle such immense power, this might surprise you. But I've already mastered a variety of magics. And since you've been so kind to me, I'd like to teach you a special one. Are you keen? Come 
come. I'll lead them. You've been good to me. To us. I mean to teach you one of my techniques. I've every faith you'll use it wisely. Take this. With my blessing. Lead me out of this. Quite the predicament. Weapons are simple enough to... procure if we have the coin but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests right you are suppose I could enjoy some idle chit chat ah you've come my thanks again for your aid in saving Trisha's life now I have a question for you and I beg you to answer it honestly. Twas you who helped Trisha acquire a grimoire, was it not? I shan't condemn you for it. You couldn't have known the dangers twould pose, and nor could Trisha. The fault lies with me for my reticence. You see, a similar deluge of magic to the one you witnessed consumed Trisha's mother, and she perished. Her father feared the same fate would befall his daughter, and bade me to keep her from dabbling in magic. But now that Trisha has awoken to the wellspring within her, I will need to teach her to control it. She will have her wish after all. Pray, follow me. This way, Master. This is a very steep slope, Master. One can slide down it, but not climb back up. Ought I to proceed? Aren't you coming, Master? I'm down here. Over here, if you please. We have arrived. Well met. Have you any weapons for me?
can't imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? I shall hasten to your aid. I'll have this fixed up in time for summer. Oh, feels eerie with no one about. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But enough. That me. Did you need something? Always a pleasure. Well met, sir. How might I be of Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Do come again. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. You have my support. Well met. Have you any weapons for me?
good of you to go to the trouble. Many thanks. We'll gladly make use of what you've given us. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. I've you to thank for that new recruit, I. The lad's well eager, he is. He fits. Soldiers like him boost the morale of all. There's just one problem. Seeing a lad so spirited sets my blood to boiling, you see. Need I explain further? I test my steel against yours, friend. What say you? Care to spar with me a bit? Glad to hear it. Think of it like a game. Whoever steps out first, loses. Simple enough, eh? Seeing as you're no warrior, you do well to strike when I'm off balance. Let's begin. Fight well! Your objective is to knock me out of bounds, not beat me senseless. You're even stronger than I'd anticipated. I dare say I needed that. You've my thanks. I've ne'er met anyone like you. You've done more for me this past while than anyone I've known as heir trouble to. A commendable sort you are. Would that I had some way to repay you for all the good you've done me. Sir Baron, you must come, and quickly! A goblin pack has descended over by the rope bridge. We're in need of your aid! My thanks for the report. I'll go at once. Goblins can be dastardly. We'll have need of capable fighters. The more, the better. I'd fain have you up my side, friend, if you'd be willing to join the fray. As you need, I shall gladly oblige.
was that? Randall! What happened? Speak to me, lad! Sir, we managed to fell the goblins, but then a cyclops charged us out of nowhere, wounded and enraged. We stuck the beast with arrows till one of them pierced its eye. It fled, but I've no doubt will return. Now mind that, lad. You survived, and that's what counts. Let's get you back to the encampment, aye? It would seem my days of peace are at an end. Do you recall the soldier we met on the road? He was rather badly injured in the goblin melee. They'll want me to take responsibility for that, I just know it. Shan't be long before I'm forced to resign from my post. I doubt such a thing would be asked of any human instructor. But I'm beastern, aren't I? There's no fighting it. But I'll be damned if I let the troops suffer on my account. I'll gather this. It might be of use. It seems we must have a word with the fiend who attacked Empress Nadine. He rots in Batal's jail as we speak. Follow me, Master. I shall guide you to the location. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Place to harvest some ingredients. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we... Safe here? Over here, if you would. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an Oxcart. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. Welcome. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth. Hope to see you again. I shall take this opportunity to observe our surroundings. <laughs> 